Hello, Maritza. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hey, excellent. How about you? Uh, excellent, too, but I am a little cold. <laughs> oh, for the weather. For the weather. Okay. And are you drinking hot chocolate or uh, coffee or tea or? No? no, no, nothing, nothing, because it's bad for my cholesterol. Um, Chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I am just uh, with a blanket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> only, only, only that. Okay, okay, good. And how about your weekend? How was your weekend? It was busy because uh, I had to cook too much uh, for my for my girl. Mm -hmm. I have told you about her, an exam she has, and she didn't. She she did, she doesn't have to eat uh, salt. So I yeah. I was cooking <laughs> all weekend <clears throat> for these days. Yes, I remember you told me that is one week no salt. No salt, mm -hmm. and the week finished on this Tuesday. No, this uh, Thursday. Oh, okay, okay. We are almost. <laughs> so almost, <laughs> exactly. I, almost, almost. <laughs> almost, almost. Back to normal, so, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I I was cooking the the whole week. <laughs> I imagine the on um, Saturday and Sunday. Yes. And what is your favorite thing to cook, Maritza? I don't like to cook. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> but okay. I have to. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. All right. I understand. No problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I, I prepare chicken and meat for her and salad too. Uh, to live okay. her. Mm -hmm. And it's a bean. I try to cook beans that tastes better, but it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little difficult to cook beans with no salt. Yes, it's difficult almost everything. Yeah. She she suffers because she 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 always hungry. She's always hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit. It's it's on. It's not so natural. Not not so normal. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, she's this day she's uh, with a lot of hippo. With a lot of hippo. People. How do you say hippo? Oh, hippo. Yes. Hip yes. Hippo. Hippo. Uh, yes. Maybe it's because uh, because of the sodium. Sodium. Mm -hmm. And I I think okay it's because it's of the sodium. It's possible. It's possible. That's the reason. Yes. All right, guys. So what are we going to do in this moment? Just like Maritza and I, we're going to take a few moments and catch up with our partners about our weekend. Talk about what you did, what happened, where did you go? Only a few moments, and then we come back and begin our unit four. It's okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No, right? Okay. So then let's make sure that we ask our partners and then oop, I think we lost somebody. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Let me move Maritza before we begin. Okay, let's go. All right, let's take a look. Marcela.
Hello, Samuel. Hello, Mayra. Hey, Miguel. Hey, Katya. Miguel, Katya, can you hear me? Katia Sergio, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Uh -huh, there we go. I see, have a teacher, little difficulty. It's actually, it's actually difficult to me because the connection in my phone is not very good. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. <coughs> I understand, that's why I think, hey, what happened? But okay, it's good. Yeah, no, no, no. Some is the internet sometimes is the when yeah. it's raining is difficult. I am, I am not in my house because the uh, it's raining a lot and mm -hmm. I have to, to to wait in other place. I have to wait in other place. No problem. It's okay. No problem. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Of course, of course. The same as Miguel. All right. Well. <clears throat> I'm glad everyone is here today. It's excellent way to begin the week. Uh, today, we're going to be beginning our unit three. Remember, we only have four units. It, we are already half, half of the program. So today we begin with unit three. Help us a little bit defining and non-defining. Last week, we saw that it's for extra information or important information. Today, we're going to review to help us remember why we use it and how to use it. Welcome to a new section. Are you ready to give essential or optional information about someone or something? We hope you still remember how to do it. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. 
A defining relative clause defines or gives essential information about a noun. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Salvador is famous for food and music that trace their origins to Africa. A non-defining relative clause gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. Seoul, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics, is well known for its shopping. There are many temples and shrines in Kyoto, which used to be the capital of Japan. Defining relative clauses function like adjectives because they add information about a noun or a noun phrase. They must always immediately follow the noun they describe. They give essential information about the noun. People like to go to restaurants that have good food. Non-defining relative clauses. Non-defining relative clauses also describe a noun, but the information they give is not essential. They are set off by commas. That restaurant which has good food is the most popular one in town. Just to help you out a bit, look at the following charts. They are used in defining and non-defining relative clauses. Come up with your own sentences and ask your teacher to check them out for you. Okay. So what did you understand is the difference between defining and non-defining? Defining information mm -hmm. is uh, necessary. The information is necessary. Mm -hmm. And defining is extra information. Yeah, that's it's it. Necessary. That's it, is extra information or information that's necessary. So as an example, here we see the word, the subject. Always, always with people, we have to use who. For things, we have to use which, but we can use that for people or things. This is the important thing. Now we're going to see how we can actually use it. Of course, if you want to talk about places, where, time, when, and explanations, why, okay? So, Let's see a little bit that we have. Here we're looking at a city, okay? Bangkok, which is the capital of Thailand, has many restaurants, excellent restaurants and markets, okay? What are we going to do with our partner? First, we're gonna make sure it's clear. We want to identify, identify the relative clause. Here, which is the relative clause? which is the capital of Thailand. Which is the capital of Thailand. Correct, which is the capital of Thailand. So if I'm going to rewrite it, where do Use I put commas. Where? Where do I put the commas? I put here Bangkok, comma, which is the capital of Thailand. Thailand, comma, has many excellent restaurants. Okay, now, how do you know where to put the comma? Imagine the commas tell you what you can eliminate. For example, I can eliminate, which is the capital of Thailand, and I still have a complete sentence. Bangkok has many excellent restaurants and, rest and markets. So if I eliminate, which is the capital of Thailand, I still have a complete sentence. Ah, so that means that the other is extra information, okay? So with your partner, we're going to do numbers one through six, and you're going to put the commas and rewrite the sentences correctly. It's okay? Okay. Any questions? No, okay. So we have six minutes, one minute for each sentence.
Okay, let's take a look at number two. Number one, we have the example there. What is number two? Hong Go ahead, Kong. volunteer, volunteer. Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997, comma, when it was returned to China. Oh, yes. ah, very good. Good idea. That is where the comma goes. Nice. Who's number three? Number three? It's okay. It's okay. Number okay. It's only a mistake if you make it. No uh, problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, Busan is a busy port city comma, uh, that is located in South Korea. Okay, that's very nice. That's it, see? Great, who's number four? Bogota, comma, mm -hmm. which is situated on high flat that you, comma, up in central Colombia has frequently changing weather. Where's this, where's comma number two? In, is in, on a high plateau in, in central Colombia, comma. So is the, sec, the second is after Colombia? Yes. Ah, okay, correct. That is correct. Is comma, which, and then comma after Colombia. Okay. Right, 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 right. That way you, you can check, you can check in your system. That way you don't have problems later. Teacher, I excuse me, I wrote I wrote uh, that sentence in my platform and it was uh, uh, it was bad answer. I don't know what happened. It's because in the it's platform an error. Look, look. it's an error of platform. Yes, That's if wrong. you look in the platform here, no space. No space, yes. No space. Mm -hmm. Uh, no space after comma. Correct. Yeah. Correct. It's an error. No space after it's the first comma. It's a mistake. Both commas? Okay. okay. Look, look, it's Bogota. Yes, yes. It's not the space. That is the, the mistake in the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number five, what's number five? Okay, is Montreal is a sophisticated city, comma, where some for the best cuisine, I, I don't know, cuisine in mm -hmm. Canada is found. And the second comma where? Or only one comma? Only one comma after oh, wow. city. No. Very good. Here is for the city, but, but, comma. Uh, the pro what the is the pronunciation? One. Cuisine. cuisine. Mm -hmm. Cuisine. Okay, thank you. Correct. This is cuisine. Good. And the last one, number six. Sao Paulo, coma. Teacher, Sao Paulo, coma, which is the biggest city in Brazil. Coma. Okay, good. There you go. Sao Paulo, comma, which is the biggest city in Brazil, comma. Excellent. It's also one of the world's most popular cities. Okay. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. Okay, great. All right. So now what are we going to do? We're going to practice speaking with our partners about the cities in El Salvador. The cities in El Salvador, okay? Okay. Uh, as an example, cities or activities. For example, you can say uh, La Bola de Fuegos Festival or the Fireball Festival, okay? Which is located in Ajapa is very interesting to go to. That's it. Ah, 
Uh huh. The Fireball Festival is very interesting. Yes, but I add more information. Location where uh, uh, Fireball Festival, which is or where is uh, in Hapa, right? Or you can put different information. But the important is add, add, add more information. Okay. El per el Puerto de la Libertad, which is now, which is now Surf City, is very popular with tourists. Okay. El Tunco, oh, uh -huh. El Tunco, which is ugly for me, has a lot of restaurants. Well, restaurants, no, a lot of bars. A lot of mm -hmm. Yes, Milton. For, for example, when you say San Miguel is famous for, for he celebrate your famous carnival. This is one sentence. San Miguel is famous for the famous carnival. And the extra information? Is, is a popular city. Okay. Okay, so San Miguel, which is famous for uh, the carnival, okay, mm -hmm. which, that's where you use the which, San Miguel, which, uh, or, which? Is, uh -huh, or it, it's no location, it's, we're talking about the thing, or San Miguel, uh, the, the city, San Miguel is famous uh, for the which carnival. Is located in the western side of El Salvador. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay? It's okay. All right. Now we practice speaking, speaking with our partners, festivals, carnivals, uh, cities, locations, uh, the, the different places. If you want, not only from El Salvador, you can go to others. New York, uh, okay. Uh, Los Angeles, uh, Texas, Houston, whatever. It's you and your imagination, you and your family, okay? <laughs> All right, let's try one more time. Let's see. All right. Katya?
Any questions? Any sentence that you say, I, I don't, I'm not sure, I don't know. Teacher, I have a, a doubt. Yes. For example, in the chart that you showed us uh, in, in the video. Yes. Uh, there, is a, the, there was a rule that said that you always have to use a, a, um, where, I'm not sure where, for places. Yes, you can use but where for the places. But in the exercise, it causes uh, be a pretty confusion to me because a hey, Bogota, comma, which is famous for blah, blah, blah. You don't use, you don't use a where, but you use which. And why is that situation? Let's go back and let me show you. Ah, it's where, ah, uh, yeah. Place, ah, uh, places, you use where. Okay. So. And it produces a, a big, a big doubt on me. No problem, no problem, here we go. Says, come up with your own sentences and ask your teacher to check them out for you. Okay, up, oh, there we, ah. Uh, there we go. I just want to show you Says, that one. Come up with your own sentences and ask your teacher to check them out for you. Okay. So, as you can see here, we can use where for locations, when for time, why for reasons. But also is what I said here, we can use a who for people, things, only a which. And that for both. The reason you can use which for the place is because the place, Bogota, Colombia is a place, it's a thing. And because it's a thing, we use which. So it's okay. Oh. Uh, the store, for example, your idea is the store. Which store? The store where I bought my glasses is very nice. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. I understand. But for a specific name, nowhere is going to be which. That is the confusion. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you're you. welcome, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions? Okay, great. Now we're going to learn to talk about cities. In El Salvador, we have many cities. We have uh, Santa Ana, San Miguel, San Sultepeque, Suchitoto, Sontanate, San Salvador. They are famous for different things. Today, we're going to learn how to describe the cities and why they're famous. Hi, let's go over some words, which will help you. Can you hear? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Talk a little bit about your city. Describing a city, architecture, cuisine, costumes, festival, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, shopping. What are some important features for you? Talk to your classmates and teacher about the ideal place for you to live in. Try to use the words just learned. Okay, those words are like topics. That is the idea of those words. Okay, so... In the city, you can talk about the architecture. This is the buildings. The cuisine, this is the food. The customs, these are the traditions. The festivals, this is very common. The parties, historical sites, or it's sites that are very important, right? Okay. Nightlife, the activities at night, or places, things to do, scenery is what you like to look at, what you, what you can go and not, and not buy, but observe. And then of course, shopping. It's okay, the different topics? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right, great. So in this moment, we're gonna take a moment and describe your city, okay? For example, Maida, what, what city do you live in? Okay, I live in Sonsonate. Okay, and Mayra is going to talk about 
architecture, food, the cuisine, the historical sites, activities, nightlife. The idea is to talk about the different places. For example, me, I live in Santa Tecla City, uh, which has many historical sites, especially related with uh, the Hirola family. There are many buildings related to the Herora family. Here, they are very monumental, very big houses. Also, at night, you can go out and have a great time. You can go to Paseo El Carmen, which is in Santa Tecla in the center. And there, you can visit many bars for a good nightlife and drink or eat in many different restaurants. They have Mexican food, Italian food. They have pupuserias or you can have the typical foods like hamburgers, hot dogs, or you see, not only, only uh, is music, is built, no, no, no. Description, description, description. You are the tourist. You are the tourist advisor for your city. I am the tourist. Tell me about the city. In my presentation, you were the tourist. And I tell you my city for a tourist. I come to El Salvador. Come visit, come visit Santa Tecla. You can do this, 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 this. Ah, it's okay, the idea? Yes. Okay, yes. You, have, you have a few moments to practice with your partner. You are going to promote your city. Your partner is the tourist. The partner doesn't know. Me? I don't know uh, El Congo. I don't know El Santa Ana. Ah, no, you tell me. Is clear? No questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? Mm -hmm. No, no. No, 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 teacher. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, la pupusería que está a la vuelta de la esquina donde hace... No, no, no. No, no, no questions? No questions. Hey, all right. Excellent. All right. Let's practice with our partners. Present the, the city for tourists, you are the expert in the city, you. Okay, let's try.
Okay, we're ready. Who is going to tell us about their city? Who is going to help us? And you are the tourist guide. We are the tourists. Tell us about your city. Marcela Aguilar, excellent volunteer. Okay, Marcela, let's go. <laughs> okay. I live in Inopango City. Okay. It's which is located, located in San Salvador department. So there are, there are a lot of pupuserias in every block, but not all of them are very good. <laughs> so for example, in Ilopango City, you can see or appreciate the murals on the walls uh, because in the walls on the streets there are murals about the legends of El Salvador. For example, the Sinuanava, Cipitillo. Really? Uh, yes, it's near to, to the airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Near near Vifrio. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I, because I think that is an initiative of the how do you say alcaldía? Ah. Marielos, how do you say alcaldía? I forgot. How do you say alcaldía, Marielos? The mayor. This is the person, but and the person alcaldía, is the mayor. alcaldía, how do you say alcaldía, Miguel Angel? Oh, teacher. City Hall. The City, City Hall. Okay. Hall. But very okay. good. Mariela. The <laughs> mayor is the person. Yes, it's the mm -hmm. person. Okay. okay. The City Hall. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So the murals are initiated of the City Hall. Um, you can enjoy it to the, to the trip for the airport. <laughs> In the, in the museum. What about the nightlife? Uh, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't uh, go outside in the night. Mm. But I think that there are some pups in the night. Okay. Some pups open in the night. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Marielos. Select the next person. Mar Sorry, Marcela. Marcela, thanks. Select the next person. Okay. Uh, Maritza. Maritza, excellent selection. All right. The next volunteer, Maritza. Oh, my God. Uh, well, I am from San Miguel. I live in Santa Tecla, but I am from San Miguel. So, uh, San Miguel is uh, the city of the carnival. Uh, it's located in the western side of the, the country. And San Miguel uh, has a lot of uh, uh, places to visit. For example, beaches. There are, is, is the, uh, I don't know the name, Archaeologico. Excellent. Only the pronunciation. Archaeological. Archaeological places. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can visit, there are, there is, there are some uh, parks uh, where you can visit too. And the food, it's, it's really good. I think it's really good. Uh, for example, you can eat tamales. They, they, they sell uh, the delicious tamales everywhere. And only the pupusas, they are not so good, like here in San Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> The tamales, yes, there are. They are, and we offer to the tourists many different thing, things uh, to eat from other places. For example, we used to eat a uh, relleno de cangrejo. Really, crab. Yes, and relleno de conchas. I haven't eaten it in other places. Only, only there in in in, in Orient. Yeah, I've never heard of it in other places. Yes, and there is a, a kind of a bread 
uh, for example, uh, tus tacas. <laughs> you see, you have to visit. I don't uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maritza. Excellent, excellent presentation. Who's next, Maritza? Uh, Sergio. All right, good job, Sergio. All right, teacher. Thank you, Maritza. You're very <laughs> so kind. <laughs> okay. okay, but I don't know if you, but okay. I'm from, I'm from Aguachapam. Uh, I live in, in San Salvador. Uh, specifically, I'm from a place called uh, Ataco City. In uh, Ataco, uh, which is famous for the Farolitos Festival, is a um, is, um, place where you can, in, can enjoy of different attractions. For example, uh, restaurants, uh, hostels, and coffee tours, uh, places where, where uh, the people raise uh, cafetos, cafetos and process the coffee from seas to uh, uh, came into um, toasted ground coffee for prepared a, a very uh, several different of beverage based uh, uh, on coffee and uh, also you can find um, typical or uh, uh, houses uh, with um, a, um, a spark of a colonial architecture and also you can uh, meet a uh, very kind people in different places to to visit and and pass all of different uh, several nights in holidays for example in august in august vacations holy week in in december also december and i invite you to visit that place if you have time. Excellent, Sergio, good, good presentation. One more, Sergio, one more, who's the next person? Uh, let me see, um, maybe is uh, Marielos? Marielos, excellent selection, all right. Thank you, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, my city is Santa Ana, which is, um, in the west of the country. Uh, we have many attractions for to visit. For example, Matepeque uh, Lake is a beautiful place. Um, El Amatepec Volcano. And uh, downtown, in Santa Ana downtown, we have a beautiful uh, uh, architecture. Uh, like a cathedral, like a cathedral that people said says that is the best church in Central America. And we have a, uh, a beautiful theater. Theater uh, in, in the theater, we have many pictures, beautiful pictures. And um, the city hall is is a beautiful structure too. It's a big place to visit, okay? Um, about food, we have a typical food. Um, it's prepared for the day of the dead, the dead, okay? It's, it's named fiambre. Uh, do you know fiambre? Okay, <laughs> okay. Fiambre is a mix to food, uh, mix meat, uh, chicken, cheese, uh, fish, and uh, hams, many food, <laughs> mix, uh, cut and mix is delicious food, okay, uh, which are this day, okay, and about nightlife, uh, Santa Ana in the downtown is a dormitory, <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not nightlife, but in near Metro Centro, uh, there are many restaurants 
and birds. And there is there are nightlife in the in the in the city. Okay. All right, Marielos, excellent, excellent, guys. And now we understand how to be tourist guys and try to sell our city and explain a little bit more. Tomorrow we're going to continue describing cities and using those clauses that we learned. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right, guys. Have a nice night. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.